Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerle. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between an unlisted video versus a private video. This is something that a lot of people have questions about and you are able to go in and label your videos however you want and there's all you can also go back and edit them. There's actually three different places that you can do this so I'm going to share that today but I also want to specifically share with you what the difference is as far as your views on your channel and your monetization, your ad revenue. Now, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, and every week I will share a video that's going to help you build and grow your YouTube channel. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the three different places that you can label or edit your videos, and there's three different ways that you can label them. It's either public, private, or unlisted. Obviously, the first place is when you go to upload your video. So let's go through that very quickly. Um, when you upload your video, you obviously hit the um, little link up in the right-hand corner that says Create, Upload and then you select this here um, where you want to upload your file now i went ahead and pulled a video in that i have for teaching i'm a teacher online and sometimes i make videos and send them to my parents if they need more help so i went ahead and grabbed one of those because i don't typically put them on my channel but in here you can see where i'm uploading it's taken some time to render if you go over here to visibility this is where you'll have the option to mark it private unlisted or public now this one automatically comes up unlisted because i have my settings under my channel all videos when i upload them i, un I they automatically are unlisted you have the ability to do that but i don't make it public until i schedule it so basically all of mine come up this way but this is a place where you can change your setting right here now I want to show you how you can fix this in your settings. You're going to go over to the left. You're going to go under content. And then over here in the left, you see where it says settings. You can make that default setting like I just showed you. I have mine set it at unlisted. You can set it any way you want. But in the settings, go right here where it says upload defaults. And then it gives you the option right here where it says visibility under basic information. Hit the little drop down and you can set it any way you want. And you can change them. What if I post a video and I have it as unlisted or public and I want to change it and it's already been uploaded and it's in my channel. How do I change it then? And that's what I'm going to show you next. Here I have, I'm under content again, and you can see right here, I'm on the content page and it has visibility. Most of them are private, but look down here. I've got two videos that I changed to unlisted. When you change it to unlisted, you are allowing people to see it only if it's in a playlist and only if you give them a link. So if somebody searched for this topic, it's about Parler. Parler was a new social media platform that came out in January, and I like to do tutorials on different platforms. I've got a playlist, and I went ahead and did that, and a lot of people were interested because it was new. Well, later, it, it became, there was a lot of controversy around it. So I went ahead and made them unlisted because it's not out there right now. And it's not what it was back then. So I just left it there. There's information there in the playlist. If somebody goes under my tutorials for different platforms, it's there because that fits, but I don't have it as public because when you search for that information, it's not really current, if that makes sense. So I went ahead, I didn't want to lose it. It may come back, it may be popular again, I don't know, but it's under my tutorial. So that's where unlisted comes in. Public means anybody can search for it and it will pop up. So what's the difference now? Let's go in a little bit deeper. What is the difference between unlisted and private? Because why didn't I make that private? One of the things about making it private is you lose all your views so if i were to make that private only the people i give the link to will be able to see it and again i can change it right here i can hit the drop down i could change it right now but what would happen is i would lose all of my views i did not want to lose my views because a lot of people were interested i had a lot of views said now why would i make a private video well just like i showed you i uploaded a video for my math class i teach third grade math and I want my parents to see it, I'll send it to them. I'm an online school teacher, but I'll send them that link and I'll say, you know, this is how I want you to see how I did this. Maybe you can help your student at home. I don't really want it to be public because I'm talking to a specific group and they can watch it. It's private and only the people I give the link to get it. It's not monetized and none of the views are counted. Another reason you might want to make it private is if you're creating a, um, a course, and you want to create all your course links here then you and you can put them in your course well they're all private the only way people can get them is in that course private links 
they're not public. They cannot even share them. They can, you can only get it from me when I give you the link. So there's a lot of the difference. Now, what about the monetization? You will, let's talk about monetization. That's when you have an ad on your video and you get ad revenue. Actually, if they're private, if they're unlisted, you get no monetization. It has to be public to be able to be monetized. And think about it. People putting their money out and want ads, they want it to be public. They want to get it out there to as many people as possible. I hope this was helpful, but it's really important. A lot of people ask that. One of the reasons some people will, what they'll do is you'll have your, your YouTube channel maybe for two years and you're like, oh my gosh, I got like 600 videos and my old ones from a long time ago don't even apply to what I'm doing now. I've really dug in and, and made this niche that I like, or maybe they're really lousy, but you don't want to lose the views. Maybe, you know, like I said, I've got lots of good views on those two I don't want to lose that so just mark them unlisted and people can't see them but you still keep your views if you absolutely want to get rid of them just delete them but a lot of people will do that they'll go in and clean things up and you know it's up to you I don't really want to delete my videos because I think it's cool when you see these gurus that have been around for eight or nine years and they go, oh, here's a video when I was starting out. I love to see them because to me, that's very inspiring to see how people grow. We all suck in the beginning, most of us, right? And it just helps to see how you've grown over time and it's neat to, to share. So have a good one. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments and I am happy to answer them for you.